Hey guys, so I bet you didn't expect to see me in a car vlog, did you? I have been posting planner videos like a mad woman. Like I have been posting planner videos more than beauty videos for sure, more than any other type of video I think I've ever posted in my life, <laughs> in my YouTube life. I feel like I have been more obsessed with anything, with planners more than I've been obsessed with anything before like I mean I'm super obsessed with makeup and beauty videos and YouTube and I'm just obsessed with a lot of things but planner like it's always been deep down in me I've always always have had a love for stationery for pens for crafting for scrapbooking um, for journaling just like I always have even when I was in middle school and high school I used to keep an agenda in college I used to keep an, a, an agenda a journal I used to keep all of that stuff but it wasn't until I got into Erin Condren that I just have been obsessed like it's to the point where I almost feel like I can't rely on my phone anymore for my day-to-day -day things like I just can't I don't even know how to put this like I, I used to keep my work schedule and the girls appointments and like things that I would have you know I don't know dates set with certain people and functions and stuff for us to go to in my phone and that would be my life like I'd have to look at it before I could plan anything else and now my planner is my life which is so weird because nowadays everything is about electronics and you know what's the new high-tech thing and all this stuff and I feel like we're reverting back to the old days when you have to write it down on pen and paper um, so I don't know I don't think it would be as fun if I didn't have a crap ton of stickers to go with it like I truly think if I were just writing things down other than my to-do list like I have always been a to-do list type of person whether it be on my phone or on paper always um, but for my events and stuff if I didn't have fun stickers and colorful pens and things to jot things down in my planner with I don't think it would, I would be that obsessed with it but it's like completely taken over my life and including the HKD design shop like I am constantly finding myself on the computer so especially since I've been out of work I bet you guys didn't expect this big of a catch-up right <laughs> I don't even know what I anticipated coming on here and talking about but Anywho, it's going to be a car vlog and maybe a little bit of extra stuff because I am headed right now to my sister-in-law, well, my brother and sister-in-law's house, um, either to pick her up or, I don't know, meet up. We're going to go to the Halloween store um, to look for more costumes for the kids, like they freaking need any more costumes. I have two costumes for each of the girls, which is ridiculous. Um, and I have not decided what I want them to be yet. But anywho, we're going to go do that. Maddie is at home taking a nap with Andres. And Emmy is at my mom's house. She spent the night last night. And we had a date a date night. We went to go see the Scorch Trials from the Maze Runner series. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I cannot wait till the next one comes out. So, so good. Dylan O'Brien is a really, really great actor. I love him in that movie. Um, and then later, Emmy's soccer practice starts tomorrow officially which is crazy and she has soccer twice a week so she has it Monday and Wednesday and um, so we need to go get all her soccer stuff her I don't I don't even I never played soccer so I don't even know all the stuff she needs but we're we're gonna go find out later we're either gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods or um, Academy and get all that so I'll probably have some vlog footage of me not in the car but it's gonna be mainly like catching you guys up in the car so anyway back to HKD designs like I just really I wasn't anticipating how busy it would be like I wasn't anticipating how popular I guess the sticker business would be I'm just so surprised like I originally started it just for something fun just to have something to do especially since I've been out of work for those of you guys that don't know I'm out on FMLA I hurt my back pretty back bad at work and um, it has kind of translated into having like a herniated disc and <laughs> disc disease and just all kinds of medical terminology that probably is boring to you guys so needless to say I am in long-term therapy and I am feeling a lot better so I'm hoping that I'll get to go back to work here in the next couple of weeks um, and kind of get back on a regular routine because being a quote-unquote stay-at-home mom has been 
different. <laughs> um, it definitely has been different, especially because that has never been my routine. Um, you know, as far as getting the girls to school, which luckily I don't, I don't get them to school every day. Andres does some of the days too, but uh, getting them to school, packing bags, and getting them back from school, and worrying about dinner and cleaning the house, and I just, it's not my routine. So I'm having a hard time falling into place with it I'm having an extremely hard time actually falling into place with it because um, I just that has never been me I've worked always I've always worked I've only not had a job the nine months that um, after I had Maddie that I got laid off from my previous job in between getting um, the L&D job at the hospital but that was almost by choice because I could have got a job sooner I just chose to stay home for as long as I did so it's just I don't know I'm having a hard time falling into that like mom role and doing stuff at home so I don't know I'm kind of anxious to get back to work but I'm nervous at the same time because trying to handle everything at once is gonna be a little nerve-wracking I know so I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle YouTube, uh, the Etsy store, going back to work full time, handling my family time, and all that stuff. And family to me is number one, so it's going to be difficult to juggle everything. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But for right now, I really wasn't anticipating it being so busy. So I've been busy, definitely. Hey, you got my favorite color on. Woohoo! <laughs> so luckily Andres has been a huge, I just put water all over myself, a huge help to me. I taught him how to print and cut everything so that has been a huge help so when I'm you know out running errands or busy with the girls stuff or whatever the case may be he's able to cut for me early in the morning and I cut late at night and so it's just been kind of like a team effort and that's how I've been able to manage to get things out pretty quickly although I have been having such a hard time with USPS I don't know why they like can't get their crap together <laughs> like I will ship something out and it will take days days for them to update things and so if you're waiting on stickers be patient um, I have yet to lose a package knock on wood uh, hasn't been about that I have had a couple delivered back to me but the majority of them have been arriving okay so just kind of you know be patient with that um don't forget to follow me on instagram at hkitty designs and hkitty 1122 i post on both of them about planner stuff and about like shop discount codes and new releases and things like that and um yeah i think that's about all i have to say about the shop but it's been super fun i really really enjoy doing it and I just, I can't wait to see like what the future holds with it. I have already bought another machine. So we'll kind of see, like that's how busy I've been and I didn't anticipate that. So it's been awesome. I was vlogging, I'm gonna say hi. Oh, hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you need to do one where somebody like me is on there because I'm sure you have these girls that have been watching you forever. And I'm like, how do you, my eyeshadow looks like I'm dressed in drag here. <laughs> I don't like it. And that's the one thing your brother really likes is eyeshadow. And I'm like, I can't do it. It looks like you punch me in the face every time I do yeah, it. Yeah, you just need to practice. Do you watch videos? <laughs> I mean, because you really need to figure out get, like your eye shape and what works best for your eye. That's a lot of work. And your <laughs> eyes don't look far off from mine. Like, they're a little sunken in, kind of like mine. You have a hooded lid. So, so you saw, I'll just copy you. You just need to... You should just come over one day and we'll do makeup. That's fine. And I'll put a whole hole. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that car was going straight. <laughs> okay. In the wrong direction, guy. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. Are you going to say hi too? With your Cheeto face? Are you going to get all those? I actually thought about doing all Power Rangers. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's not a plus size costume. Plus size made, yep. That's exactly what I want to be. We're at my favorite place in the world. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Target, so Your there's a spirit. <laughs> yes, Target's my favorite place ever. So there's a spirit store right next to Target, like in the 151 area. And um, so we just walked. So we're really trying to find <laughs> costumes. costumes for us. Like. <laughs> Really for us. Oh my gosh, I love that tutu. How cute. I touched his hand for two seconds and look at him. 
two seconds, just barely touched it. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Oh, look. Oh, I love this. So the girls already have Wizard of Oz. Um, Emmy has Dorothy and Maddie has the Scarecrow. And so we're really trying to find something. Where are you going? I think it's back that way. We're really trying to find something that... More Where'd he go? <laughs> He's fast, dang. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> and he got you. Then we were thinking the girls really wanted to be princesses. Cinderella for Emmy and Anna for Maddie. Well, you know, they really wanted to, but... Um, so last year we were gonna do Wizard of Oz, like my brother Destiny Anderson and us four, but I ended up having to work, so I didn't get to, he's that way, I didn't get to go with them. So my stepdad actually bought the girls their costumes and he let them pick them out. So, well, he let Emmy pick out both of them. And Emmy picked out Superhero and Hello Kitty for Maddie. So we, um, didn't get to do Wizard of Oz last year, so I kind of wanted to do it this year, but I bought the princess dresses just in case. I don't know where they went. Oh, they're there. <laughs> I, brought them, I bought them just in case, but I don't, like, we'll probably just keep them as dress up if we don't use them for Halloween costumes. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, so then um, Destiny, my sister-in-law, was like, oh, well, why don't we do... A Power Rangers because Emmy loves Power Rangers or why don't we do Ninja Turtles because Emmy loves Ninja Turtles and I'm just like we cannot find costumes for us that's the whole thing is oh you found it my little pony <laughs> oh, you find my little pony yeah so okay back to the story yeah I got it careful so we can't find costumes that are like reasonably priced because the, the Halloween store had costumes but they were like $50 for us. Okay, I think we came to a decision. <laughs> we're super excited. Well, I'm super excited. So I finally convinced her that we could do Wizard of Oz. So I found a little costume. <clears throat> no, this the deal. The deal. Okay, Don't go ahead. You explain around. your deal. So we're going to be Dorothy this year or the Wizard of Oz and the next year I get a pick. <laughs> what we're all gonna be. Lord knows what we're gonna end up being. Probably Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But anyway, um, this is the exact same costume that I got Emmy at I Walmart though. So I was thinking both the girls could be Dorothy. Anderson could be the bad monkey. Oh. Well that's true. But no, but we need him to be Tonight. Scarecrow. No Scarecrow. Scarecrow. No, like and him. then so my brother is gonna be Tin Man, and the rest is gonna be Lion. <laughs> and then, aren't we missing one of them? Scarecrow, Lion, Tin Man, no, Dorothy. Dorothy made four. Oh, that's right. Okay, and then I'm gonna be the good witch, and she's gonna be the bad witch. We got it figured out. Ready? Let me. Can Where are we going? Go? No, we'll get a card inside. Where are we going? We're going to soccer with me. Yeah, but we gotta buy your soccer stuff first. Okay. Mommy, can I hold my stuff that's for soccer? It's Red Academy. I kind of, you got it? I kind of skipped over, like I think the last thing I showed you guys was Party City because we were there for quite a long time picking out all our stuff. So we got our witchy stuff. I got under us a scarecrow outfit. And I just need to buy a Glinda the Good Witch um, little outfit online for Maddie. You want to be in the big area? What do you say? No, don't mess with that, please. That's a smoker. Don't mess with it. So, um, we're at Academy now to get any soccer stuff. For me. Yeah, you excited? Yes. Mommy, can I have red or blue stripes on, on the end of my arm shirt? I don't know, baby. I don't know what color your uniform is going to be. I know, but they need to come completely off your leg. Right. Here. You want me to help you? You gotta pull. Ready? Pull. 
Holy moly. Yes. Yeah. I got it. You got it. What is that? Football? Yes. Say touchdown. Down. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're looking for Mommy. cleats. We got, I know, mommy blogging, okay? We got a soccer ball, so she needs size three soccer ball. And this was kind of like, I don't know, one of the cheapest ones, I guess. And then um, we got her some shin guards. She chose pink. I see you, Maddie. And then now we're gonna pick, don't don't pull anything. Cause you're not a size four though, Mama, okay? Oh, I'm a size one? No, you're a size 12. Mm hmm Hi, we're going home. Oh. We're going home to eat dinner and then we're gonna take a bath. So we got, our, we got my soccer clothes and now we're, we're gonna go to soccer game and then they're gonna watch me at the soccer game tomorrow. So, okay. so they better watch me because I'm- Who's they? You and Daddy? Why are you calling us they? Because they're coming. No, I didn't Because think they about. are coming to my soccer and I'm gonna score and win, but I hope my team wins, like points. If we don't win, I'm still proud because I, I still like it. Bye. <laughs> Maddie, say hi. Hi. Someone has found herself in the timeout corner. So I wanted to show you guys my fall, uh, fall, I say that very loosely, decorations. These are from, uh, hey, where's all the rest of my leaves? Oh, they're on the floor. It's great. Okay. So this sign is from Target Dollar Spot. Target Dollar Spot. And let me see, let me get out of the light here. These pumpkins are from Walmart. Like 94 cents a piece. This um, was pulled apart. It was actually like a whole piece from Dollar Tree. And I pulled it apart to lay out the leaves. So I mean really basic and simple, but just a tiny bit of decoration. And then over here we have, I used to have some pink flowers in here. I have this little vase from Dollar Tree. All these flowers are from Dollar Tree. I literally just, I think it has, let's see, one, two, has four in it. So this whole thing cost me $5 to make. Remove some of my junk here. So in here also I had some uh, white floral flowers that we had. Yeah, I know. No more milk. All done milk. Um, that we had like back from the wedding time. These black rocks are from um, Dollar Tree as well. It's two packs, so you don't necessarily have to have the rocks in it, but two packs of black rocks, the vase is from Dollar Tree, and then again, some of the flowers from Dollar Tree. I think there's maybe four in there. So really inexpensive as well. This is a little sign for things. See, I mean, it says gobble gobble till you wobble, but dollar uh, section at Target. So not a ton. I mean, really, like, not a ton of decorations. We did buy, where's the wreath, baby? Still in the car? We bought a wreath from Hobby Lobby yesterday. I think yesterday. That's, like, cute. It just says happy harvest. I also have some of these little banners that I haven't decided what I want to do with yet, and these are just from the dollar section of Target as well. This is what I do with my, I don't know, Sunday nights. <laughs> Most of the time I will sit here and plan out my week. So this was last week's plan with me, the 21st. I know the lighting's kind of bad through the 27th. This was like a fall theme. And then um, this is September 28th through the 4th. Oh, Lights are doing something crazy. Maddie's birthday is October 1st, which hopefully you guys are watching this <laughs> right before her birthday. Um, but her birthday's the October 1st, so I'm going to do a birthday themed week. And so I have, I pull out all my stickers here. Um, like everything that I think I may use. Sometimes I use a bunch, sometimes I don't use a lot. And um, I'll go through and pull my washi, my pins and everything. And just kind of sit here and prepare to plan that way when I actually turn on my camera. I kind of know what my layout is going to be and it doesn't take me forever. So that was a long vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know so many of you, even though you enjoy my planner videos and you enjoy my baby hauls and different things, I know so many of you missed vlogging. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll be doing it too frequently, especially when I do end up going back to work. But... I will 
try and do maybe one vlog a week or one vlog every couple of weeks. I'm really, really bad about picking up the camera and just vlogging because, I mean, to be honest, I could. I have time, like, in my day-to-day -day life to be able to do it right now. When I start working, I won't, but I just don't do it. I don't know why. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, even though it was long and kind of rambly and all over the place and all that good stuff. I already got the girls in bed, so it's been a long day for me. Today was hair day for Emmy, which we re I do I say we I redo her hair throughout the week, but um, once a week it gets a good deep clean, a good deep conditioning, um, you know, to put the moisture and oils back into the hair and all that good stuff. And a lot of you guys, when I mentioned something about it in one of my last videos, want oh no on Instagram when I posted the picture of her braids, so many of you wanted to see like an in depth. I don't know, tutorial or whatever on how I do her hair. But to be honest, it's not the most pleasant experience for her. Um, her hair's super thick and curly, and she just, it gets matted and tangled, and it's very hard, no matter how much I brush it, how much conditioner and stuff, to keep it detangled. So when I'm actually redoing her hair and giving it a good deep clean and not just like a touch up throughout the week, she <laughs> has a hard time with it and it does tend to hurt her so honestly a tutorial or you know a how I do her hair type of video really would not be beneficial because she probably would be ow ow <laughs> and having some tears down her face half the time um, it's just kind of the nature of the beast when you have curly hair and textured curly super thick curly hair like hers it just it's like that I remember my mom torturing me as a child and Emmy's hair is 10 times as curly as mine ever was so you know I don't know I just don't think that would be I think it would be too traumatizing to put her on film screaming <laughs> because I'm doing her hair so I probably won't do that but maybe I can show you guys some of the products and stuff that I use on her hair and you know how I redo it throughout the week that I can do because she doesn't it doesn't bother her as much so anyway again no I know it was super long rambly um, I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what you thought don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye